Gallery Basics. Galleries are huge within Power Apps. It's a repeater control. So you connect to a data source and whatever controls you put in the very first record at the top of a gallery will be repeated over and over for each and every record that that data source has that you've connected to. Many times, if you want to display more than one record at a time, the gallery is and probably should be your go-to control while doing so. At the very beginning, when we created this project, PowerApps asked us to make this app our own by creating a spreadsheet in our OneDrive. So within your online storage, like OneDrive, there's a folder called PowerApps, and within that folder, there's another folder called Templates and you'll find a, another folder for the project. If you go in there, you'll see the Excel spreadsheet. Let's go there now. All right, so if you open up the spreadsheet, you'll see we'll have two tabs at the bottom, contacts and accounts. So the template doesn't uh, show you this. It just mentions, hey, there's a data source. Connect the gallery to the data source, but I wanted to show you where this is at, what this looks like in Excel, so you know. Let's go back to Power Apps. So over on the right pane, it actually tells us to select the gallery, so there's a little trick about the gallery. If you just click on it, you click near the top, you're gonna select the first record within the gallery, which you don't necessarily wanna do. If you want, actually wanna select the gallery itself, click on the middle or somewhere after that first and you'll select the gallery itself. Otherwise, you can go over on the left side. This is called the tree view. You've got all the, the screens and all the controls. So you can actually cl just click on the gallery itself. And then everything that you see within a gallery here on the left side, these are all the items that are sitting in this first record of a gallery that I had mentioned before. So whatever you put in the first record will be repeated. So you'll see each of these. So there's four items there. So they want us to click on the gallery itself. So we'll do that. And it said to set the items property of gallery one. So this is gallery one to contacts. If you click on the word data source, you're going to bring up the expression bar here at the top, or you can just select the data source from the drop down list here. So let's just go ahead and click contacts. And there we go. So now we have contacts popping up here. Now I notice there's an error. So let's, let's see what's going on there. So if you ever see an error within Power Apps, you see this little red X, you see a little downward chevron. So if you click on edit in the formula bar, it says this dot sample image. What we have here is an image in the gallery over here in this spreadsheet. There's no image column. So that's what's going on. That's why it's giving us an error. And I'm looking here on the screen. It says explore the gallery, how the gallery works by scrolling through the available records. I mean, we could just, if you ever see the keyword, this item within power apps, that is a reference to the currently selected record within the gallery. I don't want anything from the current row being displayed for the image because there's no image in the spreadsheet. So I'm just going to take out this item dot and we'll use sample image. Sample image is a reserve keyword within Power Apps and within Power Apps actually has this sample image that you can use. Okay, so we'll leave it as that. So they don't even they don't even talk about how to deal with error that the error would pop up. That's what I'm here for, right? <laughs> All right, so it says explore how the gallery works by scrolling through the available records. So let's run it and we've got a little scroll bar here. So, so for each of the rows that we have over here in contacts, we have a little record within the gallery. This was a real application. Probably move the button around the very bottom. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the gallery and actually make it taller. There we go. We can sort of move things around. We can make this image smaller. Now, if you click on the first row by not selecting any controls in there, just select maybe on a like the white space, you'll see that it selects the, the whole first record space. And you just make that a little bit more narrow so you can see more at once. Now we'll run it. And this is starting to look more like a, a usable gallery. Did you know this is a part of a 20 part series which goes over all the basics of Power Apps? And if you liked this video, chances are you'll wanna check out the other parts as well. Are you feeling overwhelmed with Power Apps? Do you feel there's just so much to learn and you don't know where to start? Lucky for you, Darren has the solution. Discover how you can condense six months of Power Up struggles in just 90 minutes. Click on the link below to learn more about Darren's Power Up Deep Dive Masterclass.